Welcome back to the show. My name is Andre. This is Yep, I Said It. If this is your first time here, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you get all the updates. Guys, this is really important stuff if you do this for us. All right, this is, I'm coming to a deadline here. Uh, the YouTube algorithm is tough, okay? If you've ever done this kind of stuff, like you know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, they'll have no mercy. They'll start me all over again if you're not watching these videos all the way till the end. I would really appreciate you doing that. It's something free that you could do. This is free entertainment. The videos will get better and better and better, by the way. If you guys support me, uh, you know, leave me some donations. I don't know. But if you guys support me, the videos are going to get way better. I just have limited time to do this now. And when I spend my time on it, I'm not getting paid to do this. Not yet. Uh, so, you know, I'm, one day we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm, I'm very optimistic about that. But for right now, if I can get you guys to like, share, this, these are really important. I mean, I know... You know, it it's just sounds stupid and repetitive. You hear people saying this all the time. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. But we really need you to do it. Just one share. If every one person should share it. I right, Share it on Twitter. Share it on X or whatever. Share it on Facebook. Just just hit the share and share it somewhere. Uh, you never know who you might help out also. Uh, but it's getting uh, pretty spicy here because we're getting close to the elections. All right. It's just going to get wild, man. Uh, the censorship is going to ramp up. Everything's going to uh, change here a, a little bit here. Uh, the climate's going to get a little uh, messy, but we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Things are going to get better. Trump will win this election. I know that. I know it. I absolutely know it for a fact. He's going to win. All right. Uh, now, the reason why I said that is because there's a lot of bad things going on, right? That just out of the control. You, you're not safe anywhere you go. Especially if you go to a liberal state or liberal city. You're just not safe. It really doesn't matter who you are. All right. Uh, if you're in a liberal city or liberal state, you're not safe. Everybody should know that by now. I mean, I know it more than anybody. I've lived in a liberal city uh, for half of my life. And I can tell you that nobody's safe in a liberal city. Even if, even if you happen to be a secret service member. Okay. Guys, this just came out not long ago. I don't know if this has ever happened before. I don't know if I've ever heard anything happening like this before. But we got Joe Biden in office. So literally anything could happen, okay? Uh, I don't know why this happened, how it happened, but uh, it happened. I want you to take a listen at this clip because it's pretty wild, man. A Secret Service agent who was here for President Biden's visit to L.A. was robbed at gunpoint. Officials say the agent had just finished work when the armed robbery happened. Let's go live to Fox 11's Ed Laskos in Tustin tonight with the latest. Ed. And Marla, all of this going down in this quiet, upscale community. And if that's not enough, the neighbors now finding out that the one firing the gun shooting is a federal agent, a Secret Service agent. Watch. Gunfire in the affluent Tuscan Fields community off Edinger Ave. We now know it is an armed robbery and the target, a federal agent. The community here is really shocked. They're just really surprised because it's a very quiet neighborhood and nothing really happens here. You know, we get the occasional porch pirate. Only this is no porch pirate and the victim is no helpless neighbor. It is a U.S. Secret Service agent, a Secret Service agent robbed at gunpoint. We found out that it was like a Secret Service. Um, agent. It was like a shooting or something of that nature. Crazy. Yeah, it's really, it was really strange. Really crazy. And it gets even crazier. There is gun fire. The agent is the one who opens fire on the robber. I'm certainly glad it was him instead of me. At least he had the ability to take some defensive action. These orange cones now turn to evidence markers placed on the ground by the spent shell casings. Count them. One, two, three. Six of them at all. Definitely heard a lot of, uh, I thought it was fireworks because it's almost 4th of July yeah. and uh, it was maybe about five or six I thought shots that I heard not sure if the robber is hit he grabs the agent's bag and then drives off in his getaway car here it is from nearby security cameras it is a 200406 silver infinity FX 35 the Secret Service now out confirming it is one of their agents but not the ones assigned to the protection detail for President Biden's LA visit last Saturday instead the agent in involved in the shooting, off duty at the time, returning from an assignment, still gunfire here and from a Fed, more than leaving its marks. Kind of puts us on edge a little bit, but obviously uh, we have caring neighbors here and so we feel safe, you know, I think it's just a one-off incident. 
And now loud, that's what they're hoping. Another neighbor saying it's really a sign that something like this could happen anywhere doesn't make a difference, she said. So as the investigation goes on tonight, they are still trying to find that robber to see if he was hit by gunfire, to see if the agent was a good shot. They're also trying to find that getaway car. And the neighbors around here, as they say, just trying to catch their breath, hoping this won't happen again. For now, we're live here in Tustin. Back to the west side. That's wild, man. That's crazy. That's some street stuff right there, okay? I wouldn't wish anything bad on anybody, okay? Much as I don't like Joe Biden and I don't like his policies and I think he's the worst president ever, I wouldn't wish anything bad happened to him. But you got to say that it's pretty strange, okay? I've never heard of anything like this happening, all right? Never. I've never heard anything like this happen, and I'm not shocked that it's happened, all right? This, this woman said it was a quiet neighborhood, like... <laughs> They're all shocked, okay? If this happened in the hood, I mean, it would make sense. But why would the Secret Service agent live in the hood? He wouldn't, he wouldn't pick those kind of places to live in. He was off duty, all right? Maybe somebody trying to send Joe Biden some sort of message or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying that. I'm not making any implications. I'm really not. All I'm saying is you got to wonder now. A Secret Service agent? Guys, that's strange. Very strange. I want to see what Coleon Nior has to say about it. I know he has a video on it. Shout out to Coleon Nior. I want to see what he had to say about it. I didn't watch his video yet, but I thought I would just go ahead and comment on this because it's wild, man. It's super wild. I mean, what are the odds? Like, what are the odds of a Secret Service member being robbed at gunpoint? Okay. Didn't, if I'm not mistaken, didn't a Secret Service agent have a shootout with someone in Washington, D.C.? trying to steal uh, President Biden's granddaughter's vehicle or something like that? Am, am I crazy? No, no, that actually happened. I believe that's in the news. This is, probably, this is like the second incident that happened uh, involving Secret Service and Joe Biden. Wild stuff, man. I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> I don't think anything's a coincidence, guys. I really don't. I'm one of those people who I think that everything happens for a reason, and I'm not, again, I'm not making any implications or not saying anything about, uh, you know, linking the two together or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, I don't think that anything happens by accident. I really don't. There's, there's always a, a reason uh, why things tend to happen. And uh, I don't know, man, this is this pretty wild that your president is that close to being robbed, uh, you know, but this is California, man. Woo! They got big problems out there. I'm, I'm wishing and hoping and praying that things change for our nation entirely because I know we can do way better than this. We have to have courage. And we have to stand up and fight. Just goes to show you, man, that, that uh, you know, Secret Service agent obviously was armed and was able to defend himself. Another reason for 2A, what if he wasn't? You know, this, this should be a lesson to everyone. Um, would he have been able to call police? Uh, yeah, but how long would it take him to get there? I don't know. Nobody knows. But he was able to protect himself in a matter of seconds. So you take that home and you think about that uh, when you talk about let's get rid of all the guns. Because criminals, they always will have guns, guys. They can actually make them now. So The technology is out there. So what? Uh, but the best thing you can do, in my opinion, is to protect yourself. Get some gun training. All right. All these Secret Service agents got training. Why not you? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with understanding uh, how to protect yourself? There's nothing wrong with it. Hello. <laughs> Guys, I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification uh, so that you don't miss anything because I'm going to be pulling stories, man. It's going to get juicy. It's going to get real spicy, man. I want you guys to not miss anything. Okay. Yep, I said it.